Hello there. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am going to go over the user interface of AutoCAD 2019. Uh, this is very important that you know this user interface because you want to know where to go to get to the tools that you need to use. And uh, when it comes to certification and or working for um, an employer, you know, time is of the essence. Um, you need to be quick at this. You need to be able to get, get around, get around very well. You need to practice a lot. Um, and uh, then you should have no problem. All right, so first off, I'm going to go up here to the very top left. Just follow my cursor right there. I'm going to click on that big A. And in here is, this is called the application menu, and it has all of the uh, primary administrative functions in here, like an, to, uh, you know, new file, open a file that already exists, save, save as, import, export, publish, print, and some other things that uh, uh, we're not really going to go over. We will eventually go over drawing utilities, but not at the moment. Um, so that is your application menu. Out to the right of the application menu, across the top here, this is your quick access toolbar. Right now, it has a lot of the same functions that are under the application menu. This menu here, you can click here to add certain functions to it or take certain functions off. Um, these two icons right here are brand new. I've uh, something to do with your mobile device. I haven't messed with that, so I really wouldn't know what to tell you there. Um, now over here to the right is, uh, this shows that I'm signed in. This may or may not show that you're signed in. It's not really crucial. You can still use the program without being signed in. Um, out to the right here is the little help question mark. Um, if uh, students who are in my class, if um, you ask me a question, that is the first answer I'm going to give you is to click on that little dot right there. And you can go to the uh, online help menu somewhere around here. Of course, it, uh, I've got several screens operating here. Um, and you can type in your question right here and it will take you to some suggested answers. And if that doesn't work, you can always Google it and uh, look on some articles and blogs and things like that. Um, up under the quick access toolbar is your tab bar. These are different tabs. As you see my mouse going over them, uh, they each highlight as different tabs. Each tab will give you a totally different set of tools that are related to that tab name. Okay, and parametric, I think is a new one. I can't remember if I've, uh, parametric was on there before. Uh, probably was. And anyway, back to the home tab. Um, so these are your tabs. Clicking on those gives you a, a new set of tools. Make sure you know that. Write those things down in your notebook. Uh, you will be tested on this in the future. If you're my student, um, if you're just a subscriber, you know, I won't test you unless you want me to. But anyway, um, underneath the tabs, of course, is your ribbon. And of course, this ribbon, again, changes depending on the tab that you're on, you're on a different ribbon. So the home ribbon has your most used tools on here and these the ribbon is divided into panels. You see this line that kind of goes vertically right here and there's one here and it's a black line so it's really hard to see. Okay so those black lines that divides this into panels and the panels are organized according to kind of you know, like tools. Uh, these are going to be all of your drawing tools on the draw panel. You can click on this and you can get more tools down here for the draw panel. Uh, I can go over here to the modify panel and get all the tools that are associated with modifying something that has already been drawn. And I can click here and get more modify tools. Dimensioning, uh, layers, you're going to be working with layers. Uh, this is a new one, I think. Yeah, it, well, it's not a new function. It's just new looking there. Or no, it's not, not actually new. It just has new looking icons, I believe. Um, and uh, where were layers? Properties, changing the properties of your drawing lines. And um, grouping, measurement. And there's a couple other little neat tools there I haven't really experienced or experimented with yet, like the screen one here. Um, and it looks like a select mode. S specify start point, cancel. Okay, I guess that's just another 
like a way of selecting there, uh, which we're going to go over here in just a moment anyway. Um, underneath your ribbon is another set of tabs. These are your drawing tabs. You can have as many uh, drawings open as you want. However, do keep in mind it's going to slow your computer down. And uh, you definitely don't want to have a whole bunch open, uh, so many open that it freezes your computer and then you have to shut down and lose all of your uh, new drawings or adjustments or what have you, modifications. Um, so try to keep that at a minimum depending on your computer. If you're at our school, uh, then I'll keep it to about two or three um, tabs there. Um, underneath these tabs is your drawing area. This is your board. This is where you're going to do all your drawing at. Um, this is the webcam. You don't have to worry about that. But going over here, uh, you see these little icons right here in this corner. That's how you minimize, uh, maximize, and close this particular drawing. If I'm in a drawing, I have some drawing stuff going on. Especially, I might sometimes ask you to close a drawing and reopen it. Um, and that's just uh, because there has been a glitch somewhere. Don't close the whole program right here. Go right here and close the drawing. Uh, you can also close the drawing right here with that X. That'll do the same thing. Uh, this is your navigation wheel um, and your view cube right here in the middle. Uh, view cube, we'll call it view cube because it is three dimensional. Uh, we're not going to talk about three dimensions at the moment, uh, but just know that this is your, your navigation wheel. Um, you see here home, that will take you to the home location of your drawing. So basically, however you started drawing it and you've twisted things around, what have you, you can click there and it'll take you back to the uh, original starting point. Uh, this right here will rotate your drawing. You just watch the the wheel here go around so whatever you draw on the screen will rotate uh, in those different directions you see here with the um, little XY coordinate thingy now that's moving there okay um, this I don't remember what that is Let me see this. Uh, let's don't worry about that right now. Um, anyway here is another navigation tool you have na another navigation wheel and you click on that wheel and it kind of brings a wheel that will follow your cursor and you can do zoom orbit um, whatever you have clicked if I want to pan I click on that and anywhere I move my mouse I'm going to pan uh, going back to orbit if I move that and I'm going to start orbited orbiting in three dimensions uh, zoom you know I can zoom in and out just by moving the mouse all right so we are going to reset that and we're going to go back to top. And then we're going to go back here. There. That's the way we want it to look right there. Uh, you can close this little annoying tool if you don't like it. I don't like to use that. Just by clicking on the little X there. This also is your pan tool. Uh, if you click on that, you can pan screen any which way. Uh, this is your zoom tool. You can click the little arrow below that, the little flyout menu. And then, of course, you have different zoom options, extent, window, previous, real time, all that kind of good stuff. We'll get more into that as we start drawing stuff. Um, and here, is, again, is orbit. So you have all the same uh, navigational tools right there. I typically, I use, actually, I use my mouse most of the time. Let me get out of that tool. Uh, and to use your mouse to navigate, um, of course, if I hold down the shift bar, no, that's not right. Here, I forget. Okay, now hold down the little wheel on your mouse. Your mouse has a wheel at the front. Just click on that, and then you can pan around like so, and just by moving your mouse. And you can let go of that wheel, and then that uh, tool goes away. We won't talk about orbiting uh, with the mouse right now because we're not really doing anything in three dimensions. You can also zoom in and out by spinning your mouse. You don't have to press the uh, mouse wheel down. Just use your index finger and spin that wheel frontwards or backwards to zoom in and out. Okay, moving right along, you have some more tabs down at the bottom. This is your model space tab, which right now we are in model space. Then you have your layout tab, which even though it says layout, we actually call that paper space. And uh, it says right over here, paper. Okay, so we're on paper. What this means is this particular layout is how your drawing is going to look on a piece of paper. 
uh, do all your drawing and modeling, and then of course come in here and set up borders and things like that, and rearrange your drawing to um, to uh, have it appear the way that you want it to look when you print. And there's actually two layout tabs already. Uh, you can click this plus mark to get even more layout tabs. Um, and of course you would be naming those layout tabs uh, different names. And again, that's something that we will approach later. This is your command line. This is the line where you can, um, well, you can get instructions in that line. Anytime I go to do something, like I'm going to draw a line, I'm going to click here, and it tells me right here, it says line, specify first point. So I specify the first point by left clicking on my mouse, drag my mouse, and if I look down here, it says line specify next point or undo. And I just want to specify my next point and then left click and let that be. And then I hit the escape button on my keyboard to get out of that tool. Um, and of course, you'll see sort of a delayed disappearing history of your um, commands right there. Um, now you can also type things inside of the command line such as if I want to draw a line, I can type line and then it gives me a choice of line types that I might want to use. Okay, And I can also do that here in the screen as long as I have my dynamic input on and I do have that on. So uh, what I could do here in the screen with my cursor right there, I can also just type the word line, and then it pops up again, the same menu pretty much, that um, lets me choose between different lines. And uh, that's called uh, direct input or direct query. Um, now as I go across here, you know, again, that's your command line. Um, and you see here I'm in model space. Now these are other, this is your status bar. And it shows kind of the status that you're in. Right now my grid, grids are turned on. You see my, or barely see my grids. I'm actually on a high resolution monitor and the grids don't show up that well. So I really just usually turn that off. Um, this is snap points where you can turn that on so that your cursor will snap at, uh, you know, a certain interval of points. This is dynamic input and um, you know, more tools here that we will use as we go along to learn what they are. Um, as we use them, I'll tell you what they are and what they're for. Okay, and that does it for the AutoCAD user interface. I hope you enjoy. Please watch this video a couple of times. Take notes as you go. You will be tested on this material. Um, so thank you very much.